Ryan, while Border Patrol agents will likely lose overtime and face up to 14 furlough days, one South Texas rancher says he's going to lose two security he depends on. Just four and a half miles north of the Falfurrias checkpoint, Mike and Linda Vickers live on a thousand acre ranch in Brooks County. When Mike moved to the ranch in the 80s, he says he would see about two or three immigrants crossing his property each week. Today, he sees about 20 or 30 each day. Tearing up his fences, breaking water pipes, some even breaking into his house. The fences are cut, the property's trashed out. We have traffic absolutely every day, absolutely every night, big groups, small groups. Not only are crossings more abundant, Vickers says those who trespass today are more violent. Uh, some of the individuals, uh, rather than uh, try to get uh, caught, they'll fight with the Border Patrol. We've had a number of instances where the Border Patrol have uh, been assaulted out here recently. Now that the federal agency has to cut more than $750 million from its budget, Vickers says it will only get worse. On Sunday, February 24th, Vickers spotted six groups on his ranch alone. We went out and, and uh, found where they'd come through, and uh, they came through undetected because the Border Patrol were overwhelmed that particular day. While many of their friends are moving north, Mike and Linda Vickers say they aren't going anywhere. Uh, we're not leaving. We're going to stay here and fight this thing. It's a battle. It's a war, no question. But uh, And we have no intention to leave, but we have a lot of friends that are going to be leaving, and some of them have already left their ranch. To help them protect their land, they have a whole team of dogs. <laughs> Vickers dogs caught 101 illegal immigrants on the property just in 2012. Linda drives around the pasture near the home every day to check on the cattle and for foot traffic. She may have her dogs to spot groups passing through, but she relies on the agent's swift response to pick them up. I'm here by myself most of the time, so I appreciate their promptness on that. I've had, uh, you know, when you're you know, one female and sitting with eight guys, you know, and they're giving you the mal de ojo. It's, it's kind of nerve wracking. If too many hours are cut back, the wait time may increase. In a couple of hours, it may be too late because a lot of these people do have criminal intent. Members of the Texas border volunteers, the vicars say the agents have expressed a lot of frustration over the cuts. I'm told by the Border Patrol, uh, some of the agents on the ground, they're, they're really demoralized, they're really upset about what's happening. And it's not just pay the agents stand to lose, but the resources they need to do their job. Other things that are, are going to be uh, cut back on uh, uh, that enable them to be able to maneuver out here in this sand and on these private ranches and this brush and be able to make apprehensions. So we're concerned. Uh, we think uh, it's going to get worse before it gets better. While local Border Patrol officials cannot comment on the cuts directly, they tell Action 4 News their job will not change. As long as, as, long as the Border Patrol is out there, we are going to continue working between the ports of entry. Uh, we are going to continue to make arrests, we are going to continue to detain, and we are going to continue to hand folks over to enforcement removal operations for detention uh, and ultimately removal from the country. So if it weren't for Border Patrol, the Vickers say their way of life would not be possible. They deserve an increase in pay, not a deduction in pay. These guys put their lives on their line out here, and uh, we appreciate everything they do. Uh, they need a pat on the back, not a stab in the back. And whether they can continue to respond as they have in the past or not, the Vickers say they will continue to call. It may surprise you where these immigrants come from. Mike says well over half of those he meets aren't just Mexican. Some are coming from as far away as China, paying up to $50,000 for the journey. In the studio, I'm Brett Crandall for Action 4 News.